The set point ramp and ramp soak features found on many controllers are fairly basic, but they do fulfill a useful function without incurring the additional costs and complications inevitable with a fully fledged profile controller. Set point ramping is available on most of our controllers. It is used to protect the process or the equipment from quality problems or damage that may occur if sudden changes were allowed to happen in the process value. Without the set point ramping feature, any change in the set point would cause the process to be driven to the new value at the fastest rate that it was capable of moving. With set point ramping, the effective set point value is moved slowly towards its final target value. The controller keeps the process in line with this effective set point value, thus protecting the process from harm. The user enters the set point ramp rate, and this is the value at which the effective set point is moved towards its final value. To further protect the process, the ramp is also used at power up and when the controller is switched back from automatic to manual control. Under these circumstances, the process value is measured and this is used as the starting set point value and from there the process is ramped up towards its final set point value at the rate set. Some of our controllers take the ramp soak concept further by adding a soak or dwell at the end of the ramp. Once the ramp is completed, instead of maintaining the final set point value indefinitely, it is held for a defined period of time and then the controller output is turned off, allowing the process to fall naturally. This may be used in a simple heat treating process where a controlled warm-up is required, followed by a sustained period at a fixed temperature. 